Good morning, students. Today, we are going to learn how to use the heuristic guess and check to help us solve a question. Before we learn how to use it, let us look at the question. Mr. Lim had some watermelons and durians that weigh a total of 33 kg. Each watermelon weigh 3 kg and each durian weigh 2 kg. If he had one more watermelon than durian, how many fruits did Mr. Lim have all together? I have mentioned that we are going to use the guess and check method to solve the question. Let me take down some notes given in the question to help us. In the question, it states that the total weight of watermelons and durians is 33 kg. So, I have to write down the total weight as 33 kg. The question also states the weight of the watermelon and the weight of the durian. One watermelon weigh 3 kg and one durian weigh 2 kg. And the last important information in this question is one more watermelon than durian. One more watermelon than durian is an important information. Now, let me explain why do we use the guess and check method. First of all, we are given two criteria. Number one, the total weight of the watermelons and durians, as well as one, watermelon, one more watermelon than durian. These are the two criteria that must be fulfilled in order for us to solve the question. The information of the weight of one watermelon and one durian help us solve the question using the guess and check method. Now, every time we use a guess and check method, we are supposed to draw a table to help us in our working. Because we are using guess and check, the checking of our answers is very important. So we need to draw a column on the right hand side and label it checked. This column is important because we need to check whether our guess fulfills the two criteria stated in the question. We are given watermelon endurance as well as the total weight of the two fruits all together. So I can have the first column as the number of durians. And because the first criterion that we have is the total weight of the, the, of the watermelons and the durians. So, we need to find out the weight of the number of durians given. So, this column will be the weight of durians. The second criteria says that there will be one more watermelon than durian. So the next column, it would be number of watermelons. 
And the same thing, we need to find out the total weight of this what, uh, number of watermelons that we have made a guess. So this one will be weight of watermelons. And finally, we have to include in this column the total weight of the durians and the watermelons, which must be 33 kg. So we write it here to remind us that we have to fulfill this criterion. So let us make a guess for the number of durians. Let's say we have five durians. We are making a guess that there will be five durians and the second criterion states that I must Mr. Lim has one more watermelon than durian. So the number of watermelons will be six. The question states that the weight of the durian is 2 kg. So in this column, I will write down 5, which is the number of durians, multiplied by the weight of one durian, which is 2 kg. I will have 10 kg. Please write the information and the equation very clearly so that there will be no mistake when you are doing the check later on. Next, fulfill, write down the information here. I have the number of watermelons 6 and the weight of one watermelon is 3 kg. So, 6 watermelons multiplied by 3 kg, which is the weight of one watermelon, it would give me 18 kg. And the last column, we need to find out the total weight of the watermelon and the durians. So, it would be 10 kg plus 18 kg. So I write here 10 kg plus 18 kg, which is 28 kg. Now, does this guess fulfill the two criterions given? Total weight, 33 kg, and one more watermelon than durian. From this guess, we have fulfilled the second criterion, but not the first criterion because this is 28 and not 33. So this would be a cross. Please take note that for guess and check method, we do not erase the working that we have done. Now we need to determine our next guess because our first guess we have the total weight 28 kg but the criterion given to us is 33 kg so we need to increase the number of durians but we do not increase it by too many because it would exceed the 33 kg that is given so let us say we have six durians then fulfilling the second criterion which is one more watermelon than durian i would have seven watermelons. Now I need to find the weight of the six durians. So I will write here six durians multiplied by the weight of one durian which is 2 kg. I would have 12 kg. Now I would find the weight of the number of watermelons. So I will have seven watermelons multiply by the weight of one watermelon which is 3 kg i will have 21 kg and so now i need to find the total weight to to see if it fulfills the first criterion 33 kg so i would have 12 kg which is the weight of the six durians and plus 21 kg which is the weight of the seven watermelons i would have 33 kg. Let us check. First criterion, 33 kg, which is here. And the second criterion, one more watermelon than durian. Seven watermelon 
and six durians. This tells us that there is one more watermelon than durian, which means to say we have fulfilled two criteria given in the question. So we would put a fake here. But this is not the end of our question because the question asks us to find how many fruit did Mr. Lim have all together. So I would write 6 plus 7 gives me 13. So Mr. Lim had 13 fruits all together. Thank you.